Welcome back to The Cigar Guys. My name is Alex and I'm going to be talking about what it costs to start your own cigar lounge. This is a question that isn't commonly asked, but there's quite a few people asking it. I've seen different takes on this and I don't agree with a lot of the opinions I've seen out there. Uh, when I talk to a lot of different cigar lounge owners, they seem to come to um, an opinion that I agree with, but I haven't seen it out here on the internet as much. Uh, it seems to be misconstrued, misconstrued, I think is what I'm looking for. But anyway, uh, we're going to get into it. I'm smoking the basis cigar right now. My first smoke of the day, chilling with the dog. And uh, he's going to listen to me yap for about a minute, so probably a little longer. Sorry. Let's get right into it. So there's actually a lot to consider when it comes to opening up a brick and mortar cigar lounge shop. And there's going to be different levels to this business, depending on what you want to do. So I'm going to kind of briefly cover those different levels and give you an estimate on what it would take to successfully open and maintain one of these places. We'll start small. Um, and we'll talk about the cost that it would take to run a small cigar shop, meaning that you're just selling cigars. Maybe you have a little spot for people to smoke and hang out, but you're just selling cigars. You don't have alcohol, food, or anything like that. If you're going to be more on the boutique side, it's going to be a little cheaper. If you're going to be more on the mainstream, we carry pretty much everything. It's going to be on the expensive side, and I'll give you a good idea of where that's going to land. So product is going to cost you anywhere from, and I'm talking cigars, <clears throat> 50 grand to at least 100 grand for everything you need. That's going to be all your cigars. Again, boutique might be on the smaller side, but you're going to at least be spending around 50 to 100 grand on your products because you need, of course, back stock and all these different brands you want to cater to a lot of different people and that seems to be the range in which it will cost larger shops are going to be 100 plus smaller they're going to stick around 50 to 60 maybe somewhere in between it really just depends on how big your humidor is it depends on uh you know how wide of an audience you want to cater to so let's go right let's go with 70 grand just for the average uh, the spot, of course, is going to depend on if you're buying or renting. A lot of people are renting in today's economy, just the options, a lot of different things to consider. But assuming you're renting, you're probably going to be, <sighs> depends on, the, of course, it depends on the size. Your rent could be five grand if it's a really small place, five grand a month. It could go up to 20 grand a month if it's a larger place. Of course, this all is going to depend on the area that you are in, the demographics, and all that stuff. So your startup cost is going to at least be the first year. It's going to be 150 grand to 200 thousand, depending on all these different things. How big is your shop? How big is your selection? And that's just for selling cigars. Period. I'm selling cigars. That's it. And I, and th that estimate that 200 grand. You're probably gonna have to add on, you know, operating costs too. Do you have employees? Uh, that's gonna cost money. Um, if you're running it by yourself, you gotta pay yourself. So you're looking at now you're getting to 200 to 250 grand for that first year, just buying the product, opening the place, maintaining it. That's kind of the range you're gonna look at to be on the safe side. Now let's say that you want a proper cigar lounge, meaning you want um, a Big area for people to sit. You want to serve drinks, uh, especially. Let's let's go. Let's go to full bar. You want a full liquor license. You want the humidor. So let's start at the two hundred fifty thousand mark that we were at previously. But now you are required a bigger spot. So you're probably going to be looking right here at two hundred fifty three hundred thousand if you have the bar and the lounge area and stuff like that. And then your liquor license on top of that is going to be. Depending on the area, 100 grand, 200 grand, 300 grand, that really all depends. But when you add all these things together, you have more employees now, 
you have more product. You're gonna spend, like I said, a hundred thousand on cigars, probably the same on liquor, maybe a little less on liquor. Let's say eighty grand. So you have almost two hundred grand in product, a hundred to two hundred grand in your retail spot. Build out is gonna be kind of included in there. But all these things considered, the average startup price to open a proper lounge with a bar and a lounge area and all the products and everything like that is going to be 500 grand at least. These bigger places is closer to a million. There's, about th there's a bunch of different things to consider. It's all situational, but I have found based on people that I've talked to and based on the research I've done, you're looking at 500 grand to open up a proper cigar lounge uh, with everything that you need in there. And again, it could be less and it could be more, but that's the average to open up something like this. And like I said in the beginning, some people were saying you only need 200 grand and you can get away with that if it's just a small cigar shop. But most people nowadays aren't looking for that. They're looking for the whole shebang. That's going to be in the 500 grand area, probably more depending on where you are, how big it is. Um, but that's pretty much it. And we're going to go more into detail on a podcast episode, probably give you some more numbers. But that's just my general quick consensus of this topic that I wanted to get out there for you guys. So if you thought this was an interesting topic, interesting conversation, be sure you like the video and go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell for the cigar guys. So you can stay updated with me, upload more content like this. We have podcast episodes every week. We have short content. Our social media in the description is a lot more content as well. But make sure you uh, show your support. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Take care.